hello guys welcome back to my channel this is butterfly spirit 314 and today guys what i want to talk about is a hidden repair for my car that i didn't even know that i needed and how everything started was is that a couple people that were close to me told me that i needed new tires for my car and since then i've gotten new tires so this is my uh, front passenger tire This is my passenger back tire. This is my driver, my driver's side back tire. And this is my front driver's side tire. Okay, so all my tires are now new, which is awesome. It's super awesome. So, you guys might be you guys might be wondering about what was the hidden repair that I discovered that I needed to get. So this is how it all started. So my partner had told me that I needed to get some new tires. And he asked the tires um, and those tires were the ones that I needed to replace. And so, you know, I drove around for a long time on those used tires because when I called my local uh, used tire shop, they told me that they didn't have the, they didn't have my tire size in particular. And so, you know, I continued to drive around on, you know, the tires I had because I was like, well, let me go ahead and wait and try to shop around and see if I can find some tires. And so um, what happened is, is that uh, I'd say a long time after that, then my brother told me that I needed some new tires. And it was maybe a few months ago that my, my brother told me that. And when my brother had told me about, you know, needing new tires, he said, you also need an alignment. And I said, an alignment. And I thought about it and I really altogether didn't know what an alignment was. And so what I did was I, you know, I kind of thought it was going to be super simple to you know, just get tires in alignment. I was like, okay. So, you know, after finding out there was no way I was gonna be able to get used tires, then what I ended up doing instead is that I ended up, um, I ended up find, finding a shop, um, a mechanic shop that actually had new tires in my tire size, and I actually found them. So, once I found a, you know, mechanic shop that was going to be able to, you know, have the tire size that I needed and brand new tires at that, because I've never had new tires on my car ever. I mostly only had used tires because, you know, used tires are more inexpensive and you can usually find them. However, for me, like I said, I wasn't able to find them for the longest of time. So since I wasn't able to find them, then I just say, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to give me some new tires so i made the appointment at the mechanic shop and uh i went in and it was on a i believe it was a saturday and what i did was is that i uh i told them that i wanted to you know i had to actually make an appointment before i showed up okay because this tire shop is particularly busy and they do more than just tires. They do all kinds of um, mechanic work on cars. And so um, what I, you know, I ended up showing up on my appointment date and I went ahead and had them to put two front tires on my car. And then once I got ready to pay for the two new tires, then I was told that I needed an alignment. 
and that I needed two back tires. And I was like, oh, okay. I said, that's cool. So I had to wait a bit because I had to wait until, you know, I had the money to get the two back tires and the alignment. So, and I literally had to, you know, budget that money out and make sure I had the money um, for the back tires and the alignment and everything. And so after I found myself, you know, having the money, right, then, you know, I made sure that I made an appointment. And then my second time being at the mechanic shop, then I was, you know, I had to wait for a long, 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 long time, but I finally was able to get the, um, I was finally able to get the, um, you know, the back tires. Once they called me, they said, okay, we got the tires on your car. And they said, you know, you're ready to go. So basically, I went ahead and went to go ahead and pay for everything. And I was expecting to pay for the alignment and the two back tires. However, what happened is, is they said, when I got up to the checkout, they said, well, you have, they said, you have, you know, we put the two back tires onto your car. And I said, okay, awesome. What about the alignment? And they said, well, we weren't able to do the alignment because you have something else going on with your car. And that other thing that I had going on with my car, they said was needed to be addressed first. This is the hidden repair that I was talking about. And so I was like, okay, well, hidden repair. I said, okay, well, how much is this going to cost? They said, well, they said, well, what we have to do is, is we're going to have to do sus some suspension work to your car. And so they said, well, our estimate is going to be $550 is how much this is going to cost. And they said, we're going to have to go ahead and we're going to have to, you know, get your suspension in line first. So that involved replacing the upper and lower control arm in my car and some various other parts associated with my suspension and the reason why the mechanic shop knew they had to do that was because they said that they had tried to do the alignment for my car but they said when they tried to have the alignment to stick and to stay in place meaning that when i drive or you drive then when you drive your car and let's say you take your you take your hands off the steering wheel. When you take your hands off the steering wheel and your car keeps going, what my car was doing was my car was veering to the right. And that means that my car was out of alignment and that's why I needed an alignment for my car. And so when they said they couldn't do it and I needed the suspension work, then I was like, well, I had already noticed that my car was veering to the right. If I, you know, if I didn't, you know, turn it, or whatever and I because I tried this I tried going down the highway I was going about 60 or 70 miles an hour and what I did was is I went ahead and took my hands off of the, the steering wheel and I noticed my car going to the right so it was going towards the shoulder of the road now of course I only did this for a few seconds to see that my car was going to the right okay so once I um once I found that my car was doing that, I also tried it when I was going on, you know, going down the road on normal, you know, normal speed, let's say 30 or 35 miles an hour or lower. And I did the same thing. So when I would drive, then, you know, I wanted to see what direction my car was going to go if I took my hands off the steering wheel. Okay. For a brief couple seconds. And what I found out was, is that what my car did again was at a lower speed about 35 miles an hour my car veered to the right okay it veered to the right just like it did on the highway when i took my hands off the steering wheel okay now i was careful to make sure that i was being safe about what i was doing whether on the highway or going down the street so what ended up happening was is that i understood i needed an alignment okay and i clearly understood that and so you know, but the suspension work was first, which is that hidden repair I was talking about. So when they told me about, you know, how much it was going to cost and that they needed to do the work, at first I went and I denied it because I was like, no, I don't need to do that. I don't, I don't need to. I don't got to worry about that, this and that. That's what I was telling myself. Maybe I could just get by, you know, because at first I was like, well, maybe I can get by without spending the money. 
maybe I can get by without having an alignment, but there was clear signs that I needed to do it. So what I ended up doing instead is, is I ended up, um, I ended up once I, you know, I had to budget and I was able to save the money and set it aside. And then eventually I was able to have the money for the repair. So I was able to have a $550. And so um, once I had that, then, uh, you know, I, of course, I, before I had the money, I'd already scheduled the appointment out because I had planned to, to budget out money in my paychecks so that I can have that money. You know what I'm saying? So I was very careful to keep money so that I can keep um, accumulating it. And once I got to the, having the money, you know, the day I was supposed to get the, the day I was supposed to get the suspension work done, which included the alignment, then I went in for the appointment and everything like that. And the mechanic shop was able to go ahead and they were able to do the suspension work, which also included the alignment. So the alignment was included in the suspension work. So once they got done doing that, then, and they told me that they were done and I was good, then I went and I went to go ahead and pay for the the work that was done. Now it did cost twenty dollars. It did cost twenty dollars more. So it cost me about in total it cost me about five hundred and seventy four dollars to get all that suspension work done for my car. And now you know as I drive my car now, my car rides a lot smoother than it was now that it had the suspension work and now that it had the alignment. And also, it's also good because I have the tires too. And so now my car rides very evenly. And what I wanna, what I wanted to make this video and say, guys, is this: when it comes to getting maintenance for your car, right? And there's something that you get, need to get done. Understand, guys, that there may be the occasion where you might discover that you may think that okay, all I gotta do is is get this repair done. But you may discover that there's something more serious that has to be done for your car first another reason why i ended up getting the suspension work done is because winter time is coming and you know originally i was saying well i just get tires and stuff so this winter time i wouldn't have issues with driving through snow or whatever however what i found out from the mechanic shop was is that if my car stayed where yeah i can get the tires but if i didn't have the alignment and the suspension was not done then if i was driving around in winter time I could run the risk of of basically my car repair the hitting repair i can run the risk of that causing more damage to my car which meant that if the damage became so much more significant right and no repair was done like i and i didn't have the upper and lower control arms right and i didn't have the other work done then this winter time if i went to try to make a right or i went to make a left I would end up skidding out of control and I could end up hitting somebody and causing an accident. And I said, you know, I don't wanna do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this work done. And now that I've gotten the work done, my car rides smoother, it's, it's a lot better. You know, when I look at my tires, you know, I'm grateful that I had the ability to even get all of this done. And I say this to say that, you know, maintenance in your car is important. And please understand guys that you will have to maintenance your car and it's a good idea to take care of it because the more you take care of your car it saves you money because then you know as you save money you know on you know taking care of car repairs and stuff like that this allows you to be able to keep your car for a longer period of time so that you don't have to go out and you don't have to buy a car you know what i'm saying and you can keep the car and i've been encouraged by my family members to keep my car because, you know, I've had my car for, you know, more than 10 years. And what I can say is, is that, you know, having my car has saved me a lot of money because there are people who are driving around and yes, they got new cars and stuff like that and things. But in having new cars, you know, my sister was telling me, she said, you know, your car, you know, you bought your car, you know, you don't have any monthly payments. Go ahead and keep your car because this is going to allow you to save money and you're going to be able to do more things and so i say all this to say guys that you know if you go and get maintenance for your car and you find out that you need to get 
more significant work done and things like that by all means go ahead and get that work done so that you know you don't have to have the stress and the anxiety and things about you know your car you know and worrying that your car is going to break down on you when you can go ahead and prevent that you know yes it might cost you a little bit more money but at least you can keep your car for a longer time because there are people out there who have to pay a lot more money because they put off doing repairs to their car that they should have already gotten done so i just say that to say you know listen to your car okay you know watch out if your car if there's sounds your car is making that they, it doesn't normally make and stuff like that because you know your car if you've had your car for a long time then you know it and you know when there's something right and there's something wrong okay so guys i just wanted to you know share my experience with you i hope this has been able to help you and i hope that um maybe just maybe i hope that you know this video is able to help a lot of you out there so that you know you can keep rolling with your car you know what i'm saying you can keep your expenses down and yeah at first you might have to spend money for your car and stuff like that and you may have to take care of it but you know if you keep getting people keep telling you hey you got to get this repair that repair or something like that and you get family tell you and then you get a mechanic shop that verifies what it is your family saying or whatever you know what i'm saying people close to you are saying then by all means get it done so you can you know you can have the stress and anxiety and the pressure taken off of you you know what i'm saying when it comes to keeping your car and letting it operate smoothly so i want to thank you guys for watching this video i hope this has been helpful and thanks for watching